Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue with creating more color combinations with our Crayola colored pencils. This is the page from the last video and you can see we created four different color combinations. The first three were with three colors and then this last one we used four colors. So today I think we are going to make some more combinations and we're going to move forward to four colors and I think possibly maybe I'll show you how to do one with five colors for our last one since this last video we did three with three and then we did the uh, last one with four and if you look at this you can see if I bring it a lot closer how much more beautiful your color combinations can be when you're using more colors because here we have four and then in this one we have three and this is just so much more vibrant and the darkest color kind of gives a contrast between these two colors the tropical forest and the yellow green and it will also in whatever object you're coloring provide a lot more shadows for that object and then this highlight color this arctic line is absolutely beautiful so we did a yellow combination a blue combination then this one had pinks and purples and then we did green. So today we're going to try to mix it up a little bit and we are going to move a little bit more difficult than this one, but I'm still going to try to keep it at the beginner level. If you have not seen my previous video, I'll make sure that is linked in the upper right hand corner so that you could watch that one first and make sure you grab yourself this sheet. This sheet is available in my Facebook group. There's a link to my Facebook group down in the description box below. If you put a request in to join the group, once your request has been accepted, you just go to the file section of the group and you can download it from there. It's very easy to find. It's the only file that is available in the file section of the group. So if you want that sheet, it's available to you for free. And then these, my color swatching charts, these are available to you if you sign up for my email list, which that is also in the description box below. There is a link and once you sign up for my email list, you will get a free color swatching chart sent to you back in your email. I know a lot of you are getting your 120 set of Crayola pencils and you are really, really loving them. And I am so excited because that makes me so happy when I recommend things and you guys love them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with this video. If you want to keep seeing my Crayola videos, I've got more to come. People are requesting uh, skin tutorials and all kinds of other things with the Crayola pencils. So if you want to make sure that you know every time I post a new video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on. And I am just so excited because today was the day that I hit my very first milestone of 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. My channel has taken a huge jump and I have gotten so many new subscribers over the last... I would say a little more than a week or about since Christmas time. You guys are all so awesome. I'm so glad you're enjoying my videos. But for those of you that are new here, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be lots of fun and hopefully you learned something. So let's go ahead and get started making these color combinations. So these are all the colors that we used when we made the color combinations the last time. And these are off limits. <laughs> We are not allowed to use these colors, so we have to pick something completely different because we don't want to make more combinations with the colors we already used. Does anybody else love that sound? <laughs> I love that sound the pencil makes. Or what about when the pencil touches the paper and glides across the paper? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you get as excited over that as I do. <laughs> Pencils are so much fun, and just looking at all the beautiful colors all the time really just makes me happy. Let's go ahead and start making some color combos. We have our sheet. So that's what I forgot. My tester sheet. So if you guys are doing this with me, make sure that you go to the group and you get this page, the uh, color combinations page, and then download your uh, 
sign up for my email list and get your colored pencil color chart. Make sure that you get around to swatching your pencils because as I told you in the last video, or as I tell you, always tell you in all of my videos, it's so important to swatch out all of your colors because the colors that you see on the barrel of the pencil or even on the lead is not going to be the same as what comes out on your paper. So if you want to have a much easier time creating your color combinations, make sure that you've swatched out all your colors. It makes life so much easier. So these are all of our colors. Aren't they beautiful? I love the colors in this set. You guys know I've said that a million times. Let's go ahead and start making some combinations. We're gonna start by looking at all of our colors. Hopefully I have them all in frame. I don't even think they all fit in the frame at the same time, but let's look at the colors and what did we do last time? Last time we had a yellow, a green, a blue, and then a purple with pinks. Maybe we should do something with reds. Let's do something with reds. There are some really pretty reds available in this set. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to pick our, just like I showed you in the last video, we need to start by picking our shadowing color. So let's go and pick the darkest color. So let's go ahead and make something with like reddish and pink. So we've got these colors here. We've got this raspberry and we have this macaroon. I'm thinking that maybe Maybe we should go with, I don't know, raspberry? That's a lot of purple in it. Let's start with macaroon and see what we can get with that. So we're gonna start with macaroon. And what should we add as our mid-tone color? Now I said we're gonna go with four. What I usually do when I'm doing a four color combination is I'll choose my three colors to start and then I'll come back and add my fourth color wherever it is I need the transition. And I showed you a little bit of that in my last video. Again, if you didn't see that video, it's going to be in the right hand corner so that you could go back and make sure that you watch that. But let's go ahead and start. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with the macaroon. So let me pull that one. We have our macaroon and let's go ahead and look at this color and see where we want to go with this next. I am thinking Maybe we should go straight down to this ruby red or even this parrot pink would be really pretty. The parrot pink looks a lot like this brick red. It has a lot of the same shading, I think. So let's go ahead and do the parrot pink. We've got our macaroon and our parrot pink. And then we need something that's going to really lighten that up and just pick a highlight color. And I'm kind of thinking that we should go into some of these pinks that we never got to use, maybe down in here. So we're going from our parrot pink. And of course it's got pink in the name. It does have a little pink bit of pink in it, but it is much more red. So I say we come down to this next line to create our transition. Oh, and I know the color I really wanted to use yesterday was this Fuzzy Wuzzy. I think this is a really cool color. It's so different. So maybe we should go to this Fuzzy Wuzzy. If you look at these two, the Fuzzy Wuzzy and the Parrot Pink, I think by looking at those that it would make a really pretty transition because this color is more muted and it's not so bright. So then when we come into our fourth color, we could kind of brighten it up with something and make something really pretty that will just pop off the page. So let's grab the Fuzzy Wuzzy. We have our Macaroon and then our Parrot Pink and then our Fuzzy Wuzzy. I love that name, Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. <laughs> okay, let's get to coloring, guys. So we've got macaroon. See, this is what we do now. We're gonna test them out on our test sheet. This is what you should always do. Like I told you in your last, in my last video, you should always have your coloring book right here and whatever object it is you're coloring. And then you always keep your testing sheet or your tester sheet off to the side so that you can test all of your colors before you put them on your page. So now we're gonna come in with our parrot pink. 
Oh, look at those colors together. Look how it just brightened that up. And now I've got my fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a beautiful transition. Look at that. <gasps> These look so great together. Let's come back and darken them up. Oh, I love this. Adding another layer. Now I'm going to come back with the fuzzy wuzzy. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how beautiful that is. That is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to add something really bright to that. Let's go ahead and pick our fourth. And I don't think that we're going to need something. After you, after you get your colors laid down on your tester sheet when you're choosing your color combinations, look at it and see if there is a huge difference in between colors. If there's a huge difference in between colors, then you need to choose a transition color, maybe to fit in between your darkest tone and your middle tone, or your middle tone and your lightest tone. But in this case, we don't have an issue. They all blend it together beautifully. So what we're going to do with this one is we need to now come in with something that is much lighter. But since these colors are pretty muted, I want something that is kind of muted, but bright at the same time. And I'm already looking at the color that I want to use right here <laughs> on my swatch sheet. So right here is a color called Bubblegum, and I think that that is just going to blend in really beautifully along with these three colors here. Let's go ahead and add that Bubblegum to our color combination. Yes, it's so pretty. Look at that. And if you wanted to brighten it up, you could always go back with your lightest color and go back over the other colors. That is so pretty. Look at that combination. Okay, so now we need to put that on our combination sheet. Okay, so we are going to put our combination right here. And we're going to start with the darkest color. So we're going to start with our macaroon. And like I showed you in the previous video, we're going to lay down our macaroon and we're going to try to keep it right here where this line is so that we can write it in. And it shows us exactly where that color is. And then we are going to come in with our parrot pink. Then we have our Fuzzy Wuzzy. And our last color was Bubblegum. And then like I showed you earlier, I like to go back over and just kind of blended it in with my lighter color. And then you can always come back with your darkest color and darken some of these shades up and add another layer. When you're adding layers, the best way to use these Crayolas is not to push real hard and damage the tooth of the paper. The best way to do it is to just lay layer over layer over layer as if you were using like Polychromos or Pablo pencils for those of you that are familiar with those. So this is our Fuzzy Wuzzy and we're just darkening this one up. And make sure you go over where your colors are transitioning so that you can get a really good blend because these Crayolas will do a pretty good job of blending the colors together. And there we have it. Look how pretty that is. So now you just need to take, I'm using a uh, Micron 05, and I just come in here and I write the names of each one of the colors. So we have 
macaroon. And then the next one was parrot pink. And then we had Fuzzy Wuzzy, my favorite name <laughs> of these pencils. And then the last one is Bubblegum. And that's a great name for that color. Okay, so now we have a combination where we kind of did reds and pinks together. That looks so pretty. You know what we don't have yet? We don't have anything orange. So how about if we do an orange combination and then maybe we will try to mix some colors together that are kind of not really along the same lines and really put these pencils to the test. I would like to test that out and see exactly what happens. There's really some gorgeous oranges in this set. Like look at all of these bright colors here that we have that just pop off the page. This is my absolute favorite. If you saw my video where I colored the butterfly, you will see that this Atomic Tangerine is my absolute favorite. And we have not used it yet in a color combination aside from that video. So we're allowed to use that one. It's not off limits. <laughs> So maybe we'll use the Atomic Tangerine for our highlight color, but let's see where we're going to start. Let's start with our shadowing color first, which would be our darkest color. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hard. Look at all these gorgeous bright colors. Look at this color called Heat Wave. That is amazing. Let me see. What is like our darkest? Oh, 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 yes, yes. Okay, so what about here? This lobster red has a lot of red in it but it looks like it would be a really good transition to orange because it is, I don't know, it's got a good amount of red in it, but it also has a lot of orange in it. I say we start there with the lobster red and then we need to look and see what we are going to transition into from our lobster red. And if I look at these, it looks like, since this is more in the red range, it looks like we should go to the darker of the oranges and maybe come down here. So we've got orange, just straight up orange. And then we've got this yellow orange, which would have some yellow in it too. If we did that, we could make a combination where we kind of had oranges with yellows that would be really beautiful I should be doing this on live so that you guys can give me your recommendations and then we could all do it together that would be fabulous <laughs> I just don't think I have the right lighting yet to be able to go live and I've not figured all that out yet but I'm working towards that so so I have my lobster red and my orange and I'm thinking after looking at this one that maybe I should move in over here with the oranges that have more yellows in them. And I am really loving this mango color. But I'm thinking that the transition might be too much with that mango. If we went with the mango, we would have to use the yellow orange to transition. And I don't think I want to do that. So how about we go to this orange circuit do orange and then orange circuit and then we could pick something that is really bright and poppy like down in here. I like that idea. So let's do orange circuit and I think I want to use my atomic tangerine <laughs> but I don't know how that's gonna work. Maybe we shouldn't do that one. So orange circuit with cantaloupe would be pretty. or peach would even be really pretty. I think this might be too much of a transition. So if we did orange circuit and let's try, let's try cantaloupe. So orange circuit and cantaloupe. So here are what our colors look like when we just hold them next to one another. And we're gonna go ahead and start laying these down. So we've got our lobster red
If y'all are wondering, I'm using my favorite paper that I always tell you guys about, and this is the Spring Hill paper. I'll make sure that it's linked down in the description box below, just in case you're interested. Okay, so the next one we had in our lineup was orange. Those look very pretty together. Let's see how much this orange circuit brightens it up. Oh yes, look at that, see? And that transition is perfect. And we kind of changed the whole color scheme because it has so much more yellow in it. And then this is going to change it quite a bit too. This cantaloupe is a little bit different. Let's see how it goes here. Oh, I don't know about that. No, that's not going to work. Now, I'm wondering if you guys can see, when you look at it too, why that's not going to work. And it's not going to work because this has too much pink in it. And this has too much yellow in it. And so when you're trying to put them together, then it really does not work well. Now, if I look at this, I could take this one out and use the cantaloupe because the cantaloupe looks like it would transition very nicely into this one. And then if it didn't, we could also always grab another transition color. So this is why this video is so important because you guys are learning right along with me. And I wanted to show you, I was hoping that I would come up with one that just would not work so that I could explain to you why it doesn't work. But this color does not transition into this color right. If you look at them, you can see that the cantaloupe has a lot of the same shades in it as this orange did. I think this is just the straight up orange. This orange circuit has a lot of yellow in it, so it would be better probably in another color combination. So we are gonna continue this little experiment and we are going to take out the circuit orange and set it aside. We are gonna try this uh, color combination again, and let's do it right next to this one so that y'all can see the difference. So if we try this again and we lay down our lobster red, and I'll try to lay them in the same exact places here, and then we come in with our orange, and then we're gonna skip over the circuit orange, and we are gonna go right into our cantaloupe and see how much better that looks now what do you all see with this one do you see the same thing that I see I'm going to come back over and just kind of try to blend these through now this one does transition just fine I can really make that work but if you don't want to try to really make that work and work out, I'm going to pull this lightest color way down low because now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how you would bring your fourth color in to create the or to create a better transition between the orange and the cantaloupe. Let's go back to our oranges. And so here are all the colors swatched out. We've got our color combo that we're working with. This is the orange. And then this is the cantaloupe. So we're gonna go back to our sheet here and we're gonna look for our cantaloupe and we're gonna look for our orange. And we're gonna look here very closely and see what we think would be a good transition between this color and this color. And I'm gonna give it a minute because I want you guys to kind of make this video a little bit interactive. And I want you to go down to the comment section right now before I choose the color, pause the video and go, to the, go down to the comment section and tell me what you think would be a good transition between the orange and the cantaloupe when you look at this swatch sheet. And then we're gonna see if you guys choose the same one that I choose. I'm going to give it a minute just so y'all can go down to the comments section and post what color you think it is and to give you a minute just to go look or just to stare at the screen and look at the colors that we have to choose from. Now I will tell you though we need to stay up in this section here to find a good transition color. So go ahead and do that now. And I'll know if you guys are watching this video and you're watching it very closely because all of those comments down in the comment section will tell me. 
<laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to choose mine. Okay, so if I look at these, the color that I'm going to choose to make a good transition between these, the orange and the cantaloupe, is going to be, so here's the orange, here's the cantaloupe, and I am going to choose the light orange. I think that's going to be the perfect transition color. I'm going to grab my light orange, and if you chose the same one, you have to let me know. <laughs> well, I'll know by looking at the comments. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put all these colors down on the paper right next to where I have these and I'm going to line them up so that they're all even so that you all could see. Then I'm going to come back with this one and I'm going to show you when I lay this color down just between here and here I'm going to show you what a fantastic transition it will make. If it works, we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So let's lay down our lobster red again. And then we have orange. And now we have what we chose for a transition color. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty color. That was our light orange. And now we're going to come in with the cantaloupe. Look at this. That is perfect. And then I'm just going to come back up and I'm going to pull it all in together. Look how pretty that is. It worked out so well. So now let me show you. If you are actually working on an object on a coloring page, and say you didn't test your colors out first and you wanted to just kind of fix this where you didn't think the transition was enough you can go back and just fix whatever it is you're coloring and you could just go over this shade here and pull it down into your lighter shade and just add this right over it to create a better transition And see now this one looks just like this one, although this one has more layers, so it's going to look a little bit darker in this area here. But if I came back with my colors, and I've got my lobster orange here, let's just see how much we could blend this out. We're really putting these pencils to the test now because we are using quite a bit more pressure and with this paper I'm actually getting quite a few layers down here and look how vibrant they are. So this is my light orange. Look how vibrant they are and look how they are just really burnishing together. And then if you wanted to you could always come back. See we're getting a little blending lesson here at the same time. But look how well these blend. I mean, for what they are, $22 for a box of 120 pencils. Look what just happened. I just burnished it out. And if you don't know what burnishing, burnishing is, it's where you use one color or just add enough layers to get rid of the white of the paper. Let's go ahead and keep experimenting with this and see what we can do. I'm going to come back and add a little bit more of my lobster red. Now see, this was a blending lesson too. We didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got this color down. I'm just really curious about these pencils and I just really want to keep testing them because I don't know. I'm just really amazed at what they've been able to do. And I did not think that I was going to love these Crayolas as much as I do. Now see, now we're getting to the nitty gritty of the tooth of the paper. And it's really getting burnished out. 
And you know, I thought that I was going to have to grab my white Prismacolor with these pencils. And I have never had to grab my white Prismacolor at all. Now let me bring that closer. Look at that. It is basically all burnished out and it's gorgeous. They burnish together beautifully. And I just, I don't know, these pencils amaze me more and more. The more and more that I test them, the more and more I put more colors together, they just really amaze me. I just, I can't believe, I didn't think that when I purchased these, I put off so long purchasing these because, I don't know guys, they're pencils that I buy for my kids. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> okay, so the Lobster Red. I'm going to have to do one video where I try these out with my Prisma Colors because I am really interested to see what I could do and what kind of blends I could put together with my Prismacolors. So we're just going to lay these down and create our new color combination right here on our paper or our color combination swatch. And then our last one was cantaloupe. This is such a gorgeous combination. Okay. I think I want to color something with that one. If you guys want to see me use any of these color combos, I think I'm going to wait until we get into something that has more colors added into it. What was this one? Red Lobster? lobster red. So I think I'm going to wait until I get into the color combinations where we add many more colors. And then I am going to color something for you using one of the color combinations that we've discovered in these videos. I think that would be a really great idea. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you all think. So light orange. You guys have really had those comments coming and I absolutely love it. And I'm trying to respond to all of you, but my channel has just grown so much that now there's so many comments, but I'm doing it guys. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to get to the point where I absolutely cannot respond to everyone, but I hope that if you had a question or something and you posted down there, that I have gotten to you and been able to answer your questions. I just recently checked them all again and it looks like I pretty much responded to everyone. At least I think so. I'll go back and check them again a little bit later. But we've got two now. We've got our kind of reddish pink one, I guess. And then we've got our oranges and I would like to finish this video off with a five color combination. So this is going to be fun. Would like to, I don't know what color should we do? Should we, we should do purples. I don't know. Or should we do something that kind of combines a few different colors so that I could show you more on transitions? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to come up with five colors for this next combination. And we are going to try to really create really good transitions between the colors so that I could give you a little bit more of a lesson on the transitions, just like we learned when we did our, um, what is this, reddish oranges? This one has a lot of red in it. So like, I don't know, I call it our orange combination. So we are going to do a little bit more with this one. So I think... We've pretty much got all the colors, and I don't really want to do a brown combination because that's kind of boring. I don't want to do a gray combination because that's kind of boring too. We have a few more colors up in this area, and then we've got some that look more to be like skin tones and such, but I think I'm going to save those for a future video, and right now I really want to work on doing some transitioning with you, but I want to do it with colors that are really bright and vibrant and beautiful. And I really don't know. I'm looking, 
maybe we should do another pink and purple one because if we look at the sheet we've got lots of pinks and purples and reds and then we've got a lot of purples that transition into blues so we can make it really really tricky and do a pretty advanced color combination and see what we can come up with but we just need to figure out what color we're going to start with and you guys know all the colors we've already used are totally off limits so we can't use any of those <laughs> i don't know why i do that to myself i just make it much more difficult but that's okay because you guys are learning something i hope you're learning something if you learned something in this video let me know in the comment section that you learned something in this video <laughs> because then it makes my videos all that much more worth it <laughs> So I just sat here for a little while and I looked at some of my pencils and some of the colors that I have left and available that I am allowed to use. <laughs> and so this was really hard because I kept going to the colors that we have already used and I'm like, oh my gosh, but that would look so pretty with this and that would look so pretty if I did this. And so we're going to do our five color combination. And I have looked at the colors and I'm thinking that I want something really, really dark. So I went with this dark blue, if you could see that over here. I've got dark blue. And then I thought that from the dark blue, I would go with the purple mountains majesty because I'm kind of trying to go this direction so if I'm here at the darkest, I want to go back up here and I want to look for the color that is going to blend in the best with this dark blue. So if I look at the dark blue and I look at this Purple Mountains Majesty, this one has a lot of blue in it, but it still has purple in it. So I'm going to consider that my blue. And then I am going to consider this my purple. So this will help transition us from the blue into the purple since this has both colors in it because if you look at the swatch you can sh see that this is called dark blue it has a lot of blues in it but then we really get into our blue shades so since we have more pinks and reds and purples rather than blues I mean we have a good amount of blues but then they kind of down here start going into the teal colors and we already did a combination like that so I want something a little bit different so we're going to do the dark blue and the Purple Mountains Majesty. And if we look at this and we want to think, okay, well, what can we do to really brighten this up, but be able to transition into another color? And if I ask myself that question, then that will take me to lilac, because lilac is the much lighter of the purples. But this is a really good transition color to start bringing us into the pinks, at least I think so, because I want to go straight from one color to the next. So I'm kind of in a way looking for two mid-tone colors so that I could go into a highlight. So it's going to be two darker shades, two mid-tone shades, and then a highlight color is what it's going to end up being basically. I've pulled the pencils that I'm going to use so far, and if we put them in order of how we're going to use them, we have our dark blue, so we're going to consider that our blue, since it's called blue and it's got a lot of blues in it. Then we're going to transition into our purple by going with this Purple Mountains Majesty. It's a dark purple, but it's still not dark, dark, dark like this violet, so we're going to stick with that. And then we are going to transition right away into this lilac. And we're going to see if we're able to do that. You can see if you look at this blue violet here, this is the actual transition color that has, well, it's kind of right in between these two. So if we need a transition color, we're going to have to pull that one in. But for now, we're going to try to go straight to lilac because I want to take that lilac and transition completely into another color. And I really wanted to go right into pink, but I can't because we already used it. <laughs> So, I chose blush, which is over here. Bubblegum would have looked really pretty, I think, too. But we're going to go with blush, since that's kind of a bright, vibrant, but still mid-tone. And then after we get those down on the paper, we're going to choose a really pretty, bright highlight color. So we'll get to that part in a minute. Let's go ahead and test these colors out. We have our dark blue. See, that is very blue. That's a gorgeous color. And then we have our Purple Mountains Majesty. What a creative name. 
And see, you would think that this color is so dark. This right here is why I tell you to swatch your pencils because you would think that that is a very dark color, but it's actually not. And then we are gonna go to our lilac. Oh, that's a pretty transition, look at that. And now here is the real test. We're gonna see if we could go right into this blush from the lilac. Oh, look at that, we can. Oh, that is so pretty. So do you see now we how we have two mid-tone shades? Let's go ahead and go back over these again. So let's put another layer of our, I keep getting these two mixed up. Look how much pigment these have. That color is so pigmented. So that was our dark blue, and then we're gonna bring that into our Mountain's Majesty, what was it called? Purple Mountain's Majesty. So Purple Mountain's Majesty. And then our lilac. And then straight into our pink. Look how pretty those transition between one another. That is really pretty. Okay, so that's our colors, or our color combination. Now we need to take those, and they all transitioned really, really nicely. So what that means is that we just need to choose a highlight color because we really need something down here that we could use with these colors that is just going to make it go pop right off the page. Okay, so here is our blush color, and we need to choose a highlight color. This is the time where I want you guys to all go down to the comment section right now below, and I want you to tell me after looking at this swatch sheet, let me move it down just a little bit more, we're picking from this top section up here somewhere and a color that is gonna go really nicely with this blush and going to make a really beautiful transition and just kind of make it pop off the page. Now remember what colors we've already used, if you can. We already used the cantaloupe, so that is not one of our options. That probably would have been really pretty too, but I think it has a little too much orange in it. Go down to the comments section below and tell me what color you would choose. Pause the video and I will just wait a minute. <laughs> So you guys can do that, but I think it really helps if I make this kind of interactive so that you guys are learning from it as well and not just necessarily just watching it, but trying to pick and choose on your own. I think that makes it a lot easier to learn something when you actually do it. At least that's the way it is for me. I think that's the way it is for a lot of people. Okay, so hopefully you guys have chosen your color and you have let me know down in the comment section what color you chose. I'm going to tell you now what color really stands out to me with this blush color. And the color that I'm looking at is the salmon. Did that stand out to any of you? So if we look at these two colors, the salmon, we have not used it yet. It has a little bit of pink in it, but it's kind of transition transitioning into the oranges so if we wanted to make a six color combination this would be a fantastic transition color to start moving into the orange tones but we're gonna go ahead and use salmon let's go ahead and lay this color down oh I think that looks really cool Look how pretty that is. Now you guys have to tell me what you would create with this color combination. I'm thinking that this would make a gorgeous flower in Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. <laughs> and now I really wanna try it. But that is so pretty. Now see how this salmon still has some pink in it but it also has orange in it? And it just really brought those together. I really like that. So let's go ahead and go over this and darken it up a little bit. Okay, so let's go over our darkest color. 
which was our dark blue. So do you guys see how much fun it can be to create color combinations? We have gone from blue to purple to pink and then to this salmon color. And it all just came together very, very pretty. Now this is our Purple Mountain's Majesty. This Purple Mountain's Majesty and this Lilac, those look beautiful together. Okay, so let's come back with our pink. No, this is blush. Well, it's a pink color, but the name of the color is blush. And then we have our salmon. Look how these two just really transitioned so nicely. I mean, look at this blend here. You can barely see that transition line. That is so super cool. So we've got our five color color combination and we really put these pencils to the test and they did a fabulous job. We continue this. We are going to, I think we're gonna do five color combinations. My gosh, are we gonna be on that already? That is so cool. Okay, so there's our dark blue. And then our purple mountains majesty. And then our lilac. And then our pink. I was coming up with so many other ideas of colors and it was just like oh no we already use that we already use that we already use that but that's okay because it makes it more of a challenge when I'm choosing the colors let me go back over this and just add another little bit of this dark blue this color has so much pigment in it look at that I'm just going to sit here and start coloring now. Look, oh, let me see what it looks like if I just kind of blend these colors together going down the sides. <laughs> That's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting here like experimenting now on camera. And I'm pulling this one down into the pink a little bit more, trying to make that transition a little bit better. And then watch this pink or this blush when you add more to it. It just really brightens up. What a gorgeous color. And I can't believe how well this blush color transitions with the salmon color. But there's our color combination. That is so, so pretty. Let's go ahead and just write these names in and we will finish this video up. So this is our dark blue. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, you need to let me know what those are below because I'm trying to do videos that everybody wants to see. Purple Mountain Majesty. Can we even fit this all on one line? There we go. And then Lilac. And then Blush that I want to keep calling Pink. I think we used the, bl the pink. Yeah, we did up there. And we used the pink in the last one. And Salmon. We did one less combination in this video than we did in the previous one. Again, the previous video will be uh, linked in the upper right hand corner and I'll also have the video where I colored the butterfly with the Crayolas, which has been super, super popular. That color combination is amazing. 
If you want to check out that Atomic Tangerine color and the color combination I created with that one, it's an amazing color. You need to go check out the video where I colored that butterfly with these Crayola pencils. So we did three color combinations today. We've got two, four uh, color combinations. And then we have this one down here that was five where we really, really tested out these pencils to see what they would do. I hope that y'all learned a lot from this video. We went over transitioning of colors. We even did a little bit of blending on our scratch sheet so I could show you how these pencils perform. We were able to put together two color combinations with four colors and then we've got our one with five and we just tested the pencils out so much with this combination and I'm just so impressed with the way that it turned out. But if you wanna continue seeing all of my future videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on. Make sure that you go and put in a request to join my Facebook group so that you can get yourself your own sheet and follow along to all of these videos. And then if you want to, sign up to my email list so that you can get the color swatching uh, charts that you see back here. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.